Romans 11.36. It says, everything comes from God alone. Everything lives by his power, and everything is for his glory. To him be glory evermore. So let's start out this last weekend of the old year with To God Be the Glory. To God be the glory, great things he has done so long. Jehovah God is our light and our protector. He gives us grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk along his paths. Just a closer walk with thee.
1 John 3.16. We know what real love is from the example of Christ dying for us. And so we also ought to lay down our lives for our Christian brothers. They will know we are Christians by our love. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity will one day be restored, and we'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know. Kneel with us for our song of preparation, I See the Lord. before you, looking at 2017, looking at victories, looking at failures. And Father, we definitely see your hand 
guiding and directing our lives in 2017. Father, this Sabbath we say goodbye to 2017 and we look on to 2018. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you be with us as we embark upon a year with new possibilities, new opportunities, that you help us to learn from 2017 so that 2018 may be much better. This morning, Lord, we invite your presence to be with us. We ask that you may be the center of our worship, the object of our affection, the theme of our, of our praise and adoration. We invite your angels to participate in our worship. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you may help us to um, know for certain that you are here with us and that we could sign off on this year being in your presence and sign on on the next year being in your presence as well. Thank you for listening to our prayer, for we ask this in Jesus' name. Please open your hymnals with us to number 348. The church has one foundation. The church has one foundation, tis Jesus Christ her Lord. She is a new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her.
kneel down before God, who are not able to remain receded. Before that, I'm going to read uh, Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will found. Knock and it will be open to you. So just remember that. Father, we thank you. We praise the Lord for wonderful creation, loving God. Father, you give us life. Then you give your son, only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Give his life to give us internal life. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, please forgive us all our sin. We are sinners. We all agree. Please, precious the cross blood, cleanse us, Lord. Let us be white in snow. Father, 2017, this is the last Sabbath. Father, whatever that we remember or even we don't remember, please, thy Holy Spirit, come to us. Let us confess all our sin and cleanse us, Lord. Father, we give a praise, Lord, for wonderful, loving God. You created all things for beautiful this earth. Father, give us that faith. Faith to just let us shine. Jesus' love. That he shine for us. We must reflect this shine to others. Father, also, we ask, Lord, for Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, fire Holy Spirit, we need. Father, this church, we have many prayer requests. Some of them spiritual guiding. Some of them sick, cancer, or financial need, or their children. Many things matter, but this is all physical matter. But most of all, we want Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Spirit, you promise us, Lord, here, Matthew 7, 7, say, ask, you shall receive, seek, you shall find, knock, you shall open unto you, whoever asks, you receive, you promise us, Lord, please remember all of us, especially this prayer request, unspoken prayer request too, give us the strength. Give us the courage. Give us the faith that you give uh, the Abraham. Give us the faith. 
Give us the Solomon, you give us knowledge. Give us that too. So let us put in glory to God. You promised us, Lord, here, 30,000, a little over 30,000 promise. We cannot remember all, but you promised us, Lord. Please hear our prayer. Then also we open the thy word. Our pastor want to give us the, the word of God. Bless his lips. Bless his mind through his lips. Let us hear. Help us to grow. When we walk out this church, help us the lifetime stay in our heart through our mind and mind to heart. There, let us be close to you. Father, we praise you once again how good thou art. You give us grace. You promise us all things. Ask, you shall receive. Father, we are asking, Lord, for Father, Holy Spirit, this coming 2018, throughout our lifetime, give us the sweet Holy Spirit, Father, Holy Spirit, pour onto everyone, everyone hungry, or even they don't know, pour onto us. Let us know you. Let us follow you. The Holy Spirit, fill with this room and holy angel and be with us. I ask of Jesus Christ's name, rebuke all the evil angels away from this church in a yard. Only fill with the Holy Spirit, the holy angel. Let us hear the thy word. Pierce to our heart, Lord. Only thy will be done. We give all the honor, glory to thy name, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Today's scripture reading is found in Romans 16, 17 through 27. And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause division and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interests. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But, people. but everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and stay innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends his greetings, as does Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my fellow Jews. I, Tertius, the one writing the letter for Paul, send my greetings too as does the Lord's followers. Gaius says, the, says hello to you. He is the host, he is my host, and also serves the host of the, of the whole church. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends you greetings, and does, as does our brother Cordus. Now all glory to God, who is able to make you strong, just as my good news says, this message about Jesus Christ has revealed his plan to you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. But now, as the prophets foretold, and as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, so that they too might be believe and obey him. All glory to the only wise God through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, my heart, I worship. 